Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to talk about 10 sneaky tips and tricks you can use to improve your GeoGuessr gameplay. So um, this video is mainly aimed at people who, um, who have already played GeoGuessr for a bit and probably know the basics like um, can kind of recognise alphabets, which countries drive on the left, drive on the right, um, who probably know that the Netherlands has yellow plates, stuff like that then this video is for you if you want to um, learn some less obvious tips. So let's get started. And I created a couple of maps um, just to talk about these tips. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is the uh, Belgian bullet houses. So as you probably know, in Germany, you have a lot of bullet houses like on almost every street, but um, one thing to bear in mind, you very frequently see blurred houses in Belgium. Not as often in Germany, but you do see them quite often, um, and a lot more often than in neighbouring countries like France. So if you see a blurred house like this, you may very well be in Belgium. So let's guess Belgium here and move on. Okay, so next round. Um, so the next tip... Uh, I have today is the Portuguese pavements. So, this one thing to consider is to look at the pavements in Portugal. They have a very unique design. You often see these um, white and black kind of patterned designs on the pavements. They look very, very beautiful and very unique. So, if you see these um, or something very similar to this, you may very well be in Braz in Portugal. Or possibly Brazil, because uh, Brazil also has a lot of um, Portuguese influence. So, um, yeah, let's go for Portugal here. Okay, so next round. And the next tip um, is the yellow plates you sometimes see in Denmark. Um, so you may know that the Netherlands has yellow plates on just about every vehicle, but... Um, what you may or may not know is that Denmark, you often see yellow plates on larger vehicles like fans and lorries. You don't see them, you don't tend to see them on passenger cars like this, but um, some very large large vehicles, you may see a yellow plate. So um, that could be a good indication that you are in Denmark. Right, so the next tip. Um, the next tip for you is the South Australian poles. So, um, in Australia, you have this province here, here, South Australia, and the poles have a very unique design uh, with this kind of whitish grey centre that starts small on the top and gets wider at the bottom with these kind of often brown edges. So, it's just a little de detail you can look out for. If you see these, um, this particular design. You may very well be in South Australia rather than um, the other um, Australian provinces and territories. Uh, you don't tend to see them. So, so there's another example here um, of a similar pole, and there's one over here in the distance as well. So this is South Australia. Okay. So, and the fifth tip um, is uh, about Ecuador, and the fact that Ecuador you often see a um, mix of longer like wider plates like this and shorter plates like this so um the longer so the longer plates you often see are kind of look similar in dimension to uh the brazilian plates um or the maybe chile and some of the newer argentina and uruguay plates um and you also see the very small plates like on this car um, which are similar in dimension to like the US or Mexico plates, for example. So, um, yeah, in Ecuador you see a mix mix of these um, dimensions. So, um, if you see a mix of uh, plates like that, you might be in Ecuador. So this is Ecuador. Okay, and um, let's move on to the second video. Oh, um, okay. So the next tip um, is these. Uh, kind of street light bulbs. This design with these two kind of circles is very common in the Czech Republic 
and Slovakia. So, yeah, you see this very frequently in both countries. Um, there may be, of course, other other designs like this you'll see around as well, but if you see this particular design, um, it's relatively common. You see it around quite a lot, it's not hard to find in both countries. Then you may very well be in either the Czech Republic or Slovakia. So, let's go for that. Okay, so the next um, tip is these bollards here. You see in um, Alberta and the Northwest Territories, so Alberta here, and most often in Alberta, but also occasionally you will see them in, or something very similar, in the Northwest Territories up here. Um, so you have this white, white kind of pole with this kind of zebra stripes on top. Um, you don't see these in any other province in Canada, so... Um, if you see these, you are probably in Alberta or the Northwest Territories. Um, the next tip uh, is the uh, Thailand street lights uh, you often see. So um, you have this kind of very long street light bulb. Um, so if you're in a Southeast Asian round and you're like, uh, I don't know, could this be the Philippines? Uh, could this be Indonesia? Look for these long. Um, light bulbs you see very very frequently in um, Thailand. Be careful because there there may also be similar ones in other countries. I think I've occasionally seen them in um, maybe Laos or Cambodia but they're very common in Thailand and you do have similar looking ones in other other continents. Um, in, in Austria there's also similar looking ones and some rural Bolivia as well but these are very common in Thailand. Um, so, something to watch out for, something that has helped me a lot, so, so we guess Thailand here. Okay, so, next round, and the next tip is the, uh, uh, Piranha, um, pine tree. So this is a very specific type of tree that you only see in the state of Piranha, and maybe also Santa Catarina in Sao Paulo, you'll often see it, but it's generally in this region of Brazil. You won't see this in, um, it's very unlikely to see this in any other part of the world. So if you see this specific type of tree, look out for these kind of special, almost like artificial looking leaves, I guess, is the way I'd put it. Um, there's some other examples here with this tree and th these leaves here. Um, you might often see them in the distance, so um, yeah, look out for these. Um, this particular style of trees, you'll be in this region of Brazil. Okay, right, so next tip, and the final tip is the Colombian cross. So if you look at the back of signs, you will see this cross on the back. If you see this, you are very likely to be in Colombia. Um, you don't see, you don't only see this on diamond signs, but you may see it on um, other signs, like small circular signs as well. Um, so that is a very strong indication that you are in Colombia. If you see this cross, um, one thing to be careful of: you do see. Um, a similar cross in Brazil as well, but the thing to know is that in Brazil the diamond or the back of the sign would be black, um, and I think there was an example in the uh, previous round with the um, piranha pines, so that's something to watch out for, but if you see a cross, think Colombia, cross is Colombia, especially if you're in um, Latin America, so um, yeah, I hope these tips are useful or helpful to you and that you can use them in a future game and I hope that it helps you improve your gameplay so um, yeah and if you are if you enjoyed this video um, don't forget to click the notification bell and if you want to subscribe and um, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye